Alright, so hello guys, this is uh, part two um, of this video. Um, so for those of you who haven't checked out the part one, you can definitely go back to part one and then um, check those video because I um, explain about how I design the character and then how I use really just simple um, geometric shapes um, to design this lion character and then how I go about the color. So definitely check it out. And then in this video, um, I um, you will see me paintings and adding textures on his body and face and his hair. Um, and then you'll see me how I handle those textures as well. Um, I try to treat the texture as also part of the design, you know. And then I want to make sure if those textures are suit for this character. And we as artists or illustrators, we often talk about like. You know, like colors are really important, right? So, you know, depends on what kind of colors you use, you can, you know, convey different feelings or different mood, definitely. Um, so, colors are really important, but, um, you know, there's no really like perfect answer for that, right? Like, you just have to find the right um, color that works for you and works for those um, design, right? Um, so for, for this type of design that I'm doing, you know, I'm making a lion character um, that has, you know, really strong silhouette and has, you know, looking really silly. And uh, yeah, like I want to, you know, leave it as a playful. Like I don't want to take it to like realistic level of color. Um, I still want to have that really playful color and really kid centric um, design. And so I feel like the color should also stay at the same uh, language, right? So over here, I'm using a lasso tool and um, adding some uh, white and a little bit of a, adding a bit of a gray color on his teeth. And, you know, it's really just um, following that line, you know, the following the line sketch. <clears throat> And then, yeah, I'm slowly adding. Um, so I'm right now. I'm really just uh, I wanted to play around with a slightly, uh, you know, bigger shape. So I'm adding smaller dots and a, a bit of a bigger dot, like a little bit bigger dot, so it it looks more interesting. So you know, every element I try to find a, a interesting way to, you know, express fun elements. Just even little small things. Um, so here you see me um, painting up some some of his uh, whiskers. Um, and right now I'm just kind of like drawing a line uh, really quickly, and then um, I'm gonna start adding some uh, the weight. Um, so I'll be thickening up at the end of the, uh, the I mean the tip of the his whisker. Um, just give a little bit of a weight and. Uh, Variety. And also, like, you know, it's, it's really important to um, understand how much time do I have. I think in the past, when I was a student, obviously I, I wasn't really experienced at the time, right? Um, so I was, if there was an idea that I, you know, I want to uh, work on, I spent a lot of time just thinking about like design um, color all that stuff at the same time but as I have more experience in the industry um, I try to like come up with a design or uh, really quick thumbnail sketches that I and then I stick to the one that speaks to me the most you know and then I, f I feel like the feeling is also very important so you know I try to feel out the characters and if if that is the right thing then I just jump on uh, finalizing the sketch and after that jump on color so here now I'm moving on texture on his uh, hairs as you can see I'm really just drawing um, you know lines here and there like zigzag lines um, and yeah, like I said before, you know, it's just really find that nice, interesting shapes or, you know, yeah, elements. Um, 
that I could add to this uh, part of the inner lion design. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like adding uh, lines here and lines there. You know, I, I still want that like abstract look into his design. Like, so even though it's a line, you know, it express certain feelings. You know, express that um, like instead of adding um, details of those texture on his fur or on his hair, um, I'm trying to like really simplify that the fur texture. However, I still want to keep that same feeling. Um, I think it's something that I learned or something that I realized uh, when I went to the, um, some gallery shows and I went to this one museum um, in uh, New York City um, and I was just watching this uh, huge um, a piece. I think it was done by um, either uh, Picasso or some, some artist that, uh, or Monet, I think that's my favorite artist as well. But, so when I compare to those uh, paintings, you know, their their approach is different, right? Like they have certain style back then, um, and but what I realized is like each artist they have their own way of expressing um, certain objects or certain feelings. You know, you know it could be stylized, it could be realistic, but it can at the end it all express the same thing, but in their own personal. Um, interpretation and after I realized that I think I start to get into more um, you know designing uh, shapes like try to push more and try to like really understand what am I designing and how can I make it fun um, with a simple um, minimal um, and stylized way of as possible and I really enjoy that process So around his head, I fade out some lines, you know, using some darker color. So his head pops out more, his face pops out more. Um, and adding slightly different texture as well to indicate that um, it's, um, it's like a fur. Um, so I'm moving on to uh, texture on his head. It's just, I'm really just testing out some texture. So, you know, I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to, I don't want the texture to, you know, pop. You know, I want to like the subtleness of it, right? So I try slightly darker color than his skin tone. I try a little bit of light. And I really like that, I think. And then I'm um, adding those color here and there. Then obviously I zoom out um, to see overall look, right? Like, you know, like if you're working on one spot and then but when you zoom out, um, then if it doesn't work out as a whole, then you have to understand like, okay, you know what? Maybe this part's too much. So right now um, I'm, I'm kind of like doing that with the texture. So I zoom out uh, and then, oh, hey, maybe the texture was a bit too bright. Um, so I'm kind of like tone it down a bit. I start adding some shadows um, under his arms and his uh, hair. So it gives a little bit of that kind of like volume there. <clears throat> Even though it's kind of like flat looking design. One thing I like about this kind of like really 2D and have that abstract shapes is um, it's like um, I think that's something that, that I just appreciate something really um, it's really uh, design heavy you know. Um, when I watch like Snoopy, the Mozart, um, what was the name of the movie? The Peanut right? The Peanut from Blue Sky. When I watched the movie I was like man this is like this is awesome, you know, the character, they they didn't make it as a 3D, it is 3D film, it is a 3D movie, however, what I like about the film was, you know, they really treat the character as 2D, you know, like, they capture a shot that looks, you know, completely 2D, you know, and then I really admire that, how they try to keep that 2D look of it. So right now, uh, what I'm really doing is here um, is I'm adding some darker value um, just to see if the if that works better uh, with overall colors between his hair and his body. Uh, but I decide to go back to uh, the, the color that I had before. And yeah, now I'm gonna finish this uh, character soon, so. 
um, just really um, adding those details so those lines on his paws and yeah um, to just to finish this up um, I decided to add some also texture to make to have that consistency uh, on his head and his hair um, so I decided to uh, add the texture on his body, his arms. Um, so what I'm doing here now is um, just before finishing up my characters, um, I go um, click those uh, small circle on the bottom of the layer and I go hue saturation adjustment layer and I change um, the layer from normal to overlay or sometimes I use screen or color dodge depending on um, like what kind of color I want to get. Um, so here I am just, you know, giving this character last touch. Um, so adding some you know, bright color, uh, adding a bit of a saturation can bring out more energy, right? So yeah, this video is pretty much done and there will be another part three after this. Um, so if you guys are interested in this type of video, um, you can like and subscribe this channel and i'll see you guys next time bye